So this time we're going to start adding our type definitions. Uh, we want to model our, our content and we want to uh, to replicate the the schema that we have in content CMS. So I'm going to model the the recipe here and uh, to do that I'm going to open this is just a, a basic stock uh, or freshly installed content.js application. Um, so what I'm going to do here is inside of the helper directory, I could put this anywhere, but I like it here. I'm going to do GraphQL. And since these are the types, uh, I'm going to create type depths. And this is not JS. So uh, you probably need to be comfortable with that. And here I'm going to add some text files. They are just text files. So, uh, so I'm going to call this recipe graph ql i like my types graph ql to be uh, in separate uh, in separate files so i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna have a property called id uh, which is going to be an id uh, and then i'm gonna have uh, also the type which is recipe, uh, which is probably not very interesting. So I'm going to drop it. Uh, I want uh, the title. This is interesting. Ingredients. And uh, this is collection of items. So uh, if you go over here, uh, you can see what are uh, the properties that are available. So uh, ingredients in here, you can see that it is an array of strings. Uh, I'm going to set the number of servings as a number. Uh, I can't remember if number is a valid GraphQL scalar, so I'm going to go to graphql.org and I'm going to go to the uh, to the docs uh, right over here. So in here, the field. Now I want the type system uh, and uh, the type language. Where are the scholars? Okay, so here's string. It's tell. It says that uh, the the exclamation point means. Um, means that it's required so okay so it should be int right okay cool uh, number of services it's an integer and uh, maybe instructions is an interesting field instructions string Okay, so uh, this is this is basically my type. You can see that I'm uh, picking and choosing the things that I want to expose. Uh, I don't need to expose everything. I can expose a subset, and uh, by naming the properties exactly the same uh, as in as in the output of Contenta CMS, uh, we're gonna get some interesting uh in interesting helpers for free and you'll see more in in a minute so uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy over because you see here uh that we already have this and i'm gonna um go over this diff uh, down here, oops. All right, in the demo code, uh, I'm gonna go to the GraphQL example. I'm gonna switch to that branch, and that has in the source helpers GraphQL type definitions. I already have gone through this exercise in here and uh, you can see that 
uh, I'm gonna settle with this set of uh, properties so I can follow this the same example and you can see here that author in in content the CMS there is a property or a relationship called author and in GraphQL we're gonna say that this author relates to a type called user so uh, what I need to do next is create a user GraphQL and uh, instead of going through the whole thing I'm gonna just copy and paste this and yeah, you can see that in here yeah, delete this uh, in here I just uh, put the ID and the name of the of the user and uh, and yeah, that's the only thing that I care about the about the user itself. So uh, the last thing is that uh, for this to work uh, by default, content CMS and Drupal uh, doesn't expose access of the to the to the user information. So user information uh, I just granted access to this so anyone can see the uh, the usernames that I want to expose here so that's uh, it for now if you want to copy over uh, all of the types they are here in this GraphQL example branch and uh, you can you can copy them we're gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy article recipe and user and then we're gonna come back and look at the special query type definition that's it for now